Hello all. A very good evening to all present today. Uh, this is Dr. Vishal Varya, leader for GG Ahmedabad. And today's our topic is Google Art and Culture and Google Maps. And today we have with us wonderful mentors. Um, we have with us is Ashish sir. We have with us is Pali ma'am and Pal ma'am. So good evening all. Welcome to the session, Pal ma'am, Pali ma'am and Ashish sir. Good evening sir. Good evening everyone. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. So we have got a wonderful audience with us today, and they have, they have been waiting with for to start this session. And uh, so let us not waste the time and let us start the session right away. So uh, Ashish sir and Rupali ma'am is going to conduct with the session of uh, art and art culture. Yes. Yeah. So we'll yes. the backstage, Ashish sir. The nearest call. Okay. Right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Good evening, uh, everyone. Uh, so today, myself, uh, Rupali Hatte, and I'm Google Certified Educator Level. So I've conducted various sessions, and today I'll be, I and Ashish sir, will be conducting session on Google Arts and Culture. So yes, Ashish sir, uh, please introduce yourself. Yes, ma'am. So I am Ashish Chatterjee. I'm Google Certified Level 1 and Level 2 teacher and a computer faculty. So we will be going to discuss with all the audience with the art and culture and we will check over here what all the things we can do with the help of art and culture. So this is very important and very uh, kind of exciting tour where we all can go through the museums, we can go for virtual tours. Right, Rupali ma'am? Yes, sir. Uh, let's ask the audience. What exactly yes. is Google art and culture? So let us wait. What are they replying? Yes. So what is art and culture? So yes, as India and any other country, it's intervened with various cultures, arts. So what is Google art and culture? Has anyone tried out before ever what is Google art and culture? So we shall say, are we getting the answers from the audiences? All right. Fine. So basically, so, we have. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We can give can... a slight idea to our audience and then maybe we can ask a certain things like what can we possibly get it done with the help of art and culture area. Like they can go to Google art and culture. They can type over there. They will be able to get this way the thing. And you have over there a lot of things like you can go for a 362. You can go for artist gallery, you can check for selfie, you can check for 360 videos, a lot of things are there. So let's have a certain hand on and then we can talk about this area. So I'm just quickly going to show a part of, uh, let's say one of the 360 video, which is a part of art and culture area. And then we can have a look. So this can give a more idea to our audience. So I'm just going to launch one of the inside space shuttle one video. You can just check on the screen area. If we play it, it is a kind of a 360 video and you will be able to go through the entire things. Like let's say, suppose if we slightly move ahead, we'll be able to scroll through and we'll be able to see the entire 360 video. So you can check on this area, you can scroll up, you can scroll down, you can able to interact with the environment. So Rupali man, don't you feel for the physics or for the science subject, this is very useful and the students can be more fascinating. They can understand a lot. What you think? Yes, yes. From here to we cannot go to NASA, but yes, we are planning a virtual tour to NASA using Google Ads and Culture. Yes, sir. Yes, that's a wonderful and even we can give an idea to our students in a classroom area and it's a kind of a 360 view. They can go through, they can check these all the things. So how exactly we can get these all? So let's quickly check what we can do is here. If you see on this area, we have an option called Google Art and Culture. If you click on any of the area at the top, you'll be able to land on the Google Art and Culture on the home area. Now, once you are in home area, you have different things. You can go through the games. You can go through the all museum tour. You can go for checking for national museum. So a lot of things are there. So let us quickly check for one of the fine art museum tour and let's see how exactly it look like. So we have just clicked over here. Let's have a look for a certain time. It will load. 
and yes pretty much we are over here you can see we can able to interact we can able to check you can you know like you can come across you can go slightly bit of it you can see we have click over here and we are on very much pretty much on the next tool or the next area itself so it, it's a kind of a uh, way like google earth where we can go through we can check all the thing but this area art and culture you can able to see all sort of the antique things or the museum which may not be possible you can go through lot of area you can like give a complete tour out of the, that area to your students and as well as you can also come through there and you can check so rupali man don't don't you feel that this is very fascinating for all students and they can interact they can check we can maybe ask the questions in google classroom also depending upon what experience they are getting in class right yes we can give them a assignment come on uh, we are tomorrow we are going to go suppose united kingdom or we are going to udaipur so how is the street we are going to take place and then we can ask the students okay come on Uh, go to the virtual tour of Udaipur, and tomorrow you are going to show us in the classroom. So you can divide those students, and you can give the work. So this is how I do uh, for taking them as a virtual tour. Now, so suppose if you want to take uh, them to NASA, and what are the activities, or what else are the different galleries? Divide the students and give them. If history, if the students are of history, so tell them to search for museums or any artifacts. You can tell, and if it is science students. so you can take them uh, to virtual tours which we are missing in this pandemic so with the help of arts and culture you can explore and you can take them virtually so whichever country or whichever place you would like to visit ashish sir can we just uh, explore to uh, forts of udaipur can you just type right. in right right yeah. right man so let me just check we will just find over here a kind of in this area only museum explorer let's just check We'll try to find the poor one. Let's see whether yeah. it is available. Or which or one not. is your favorite place? Or we can ask the audience. Okay, fine. Uh, can you just go through the slide? Yeah. Uh, can you just so uh, go through have, the slides uh, first? Yes, uh, yes. So we have in India these all the things available. We want to create collections? Let's see which we can explore around. Yeah, we have plenty of things. We have. What these stories to be checked for? Uh, we have here. Ashish, yeah. Ashish sir, uh, we'll just yes. tell the audience how can we go to arts and culture. Can you just type arts and culture in the Omni box? Right, so right. So this is the things like we can go to any of the Omni box area. You can just type over here art and culture and press enter. You will be able to go through the, this one. Once you click over here, you can be able to go through that area. If you want to share with your friends, you can click on this dot. You can share with the this code. Like for example, this one. If we share it, I'll just share it on the chat so that the audience can click and they can go through the this area. Once you click, you will be able to go through the art and culture. And now let's check on slide what we have next. you can see we have over here pretty much like we can go through the experiment we can check for art we can check for 360 video then we can see any sort of the video which is part of 360 area so we have plenty of the things you can click over there and then you can go through the others area also so it is very fascinating and lot of things can be covered up on that area itself so let's okay. take a second part yes sir So I would just like to add on to your um, uh, basic introduction. Basically, art and culture is a very good educational project by Google, whereby they wish to give a uh, virtual experience or real life experience to the students by sitting in their school or sitting in their home or respective places for different places. Now, say for example, if the student is a, uh, we need to teach the students about you know the history for World War Two. or for world war okay then where the world war was fought between which countries it was fought what was the map of that uh, situation how this happened then what were the if at all there are some videos for world war you can make an entire project on google art and culture and you can directly share that particular project in google classroom with the students and then you can also give assignments to the students that you go in art and culture to this particular application to this point and then Write the description or take the description from there and post it into the assignment. 
so art and culture is a very good topic you can just go for a, a, a virtual tour with streets in rome you can roam about in the vatican city okay you can roam about you know if if the student is to be taught about different topics of literature then where the author was okay where suppose say if there is a painter there is leonardo da vinci then all about leonardo da vinci the paintings the area in which he was living or he was staying okay we could even surf those streets where he used to stay so now since this particular project is dependent completely on geographical information system that's called gis you will find more such informations regarding you know the western world like you know the developed nations you will be having informations in, in from america you will be having information informations from europe from uk you could be having less information from india because it is still under development so we have so many museums here we can just go for a virtual tour in the museum but those things are yet to be uploaded into the gis of google so those which are already uploaded into the gis of google that can be easily shown to the students and can be easily merged with your google classroom so it's a way of interacting and taking the students to virtual field concept you cannot be taking students to the tour of europe at this point where where beethoven was held or where shakespeare lived how can we just go and visit those places yes google art and culture then gives you an option to make your students visit those places so it there are different options in arts and culture which we are going to explore one after the other yeah ashish sir we can continue from yes here. yes sir yes sir so like as over here sir mentioned these all the points and this is very crucial on this area you can see we can go through which are already over here but at the same time which are pretty much available to us we can click over there and we can go through that area either you can go it alphabet wise like a to z or you can simply click on map then you can go through that area so when you click on map you will be able to see lot of pop ups will appear so this is a very good way you can just uh, zoom a little bit if your internet allow if your bandwidth allow so you can pretty much do the work probably the best part is if you do it a slight research before your class so this will be try to solve the most of your problem like you can see here we have 34 area which is available next to haryana and as well as new delhi same way we have two spots in gujarat so let's find out what all the things we have in gujarat area and let's see what all the things can be cover up so you can able to see there are spots which are available we can have a look what exactly the collection area it is showing you can see design and innovation craft is available so once you click on that area it will be going to load and it will be going to show a part of it like you have the sept institute or sept university certain things so you can just check what all these stories are talking about so let's have a look on one of the story and let's see what all the details are available in that So it's a kind of online exhibit. Let's have a look. It will load, and yes, this is the way it will look like. Once we click next, we'll be able to understand a lot of details will be available to here. So you can just check all details are given over here. Once we press next, you will get more details. So it is a kind of an entire thing which is provided in a proper format. All the research is being done. Only you have to click on that area. You have to go through those work. and you can explain even in your class and even to your students also so they can go through they can understand a part of it what all the topology or the chart is available to that area we can give them an idea and they can go through like for example in gujarat these all the things from the sept university these all the way it is available so you can check lot of the way it's provided so without moving from your house or from your uh, you know the country itself you can show to your class and as well as to area so i believe rupali ma'am this is very fascinating right don't you feel so yes ma'am i think you are mute you can just unmute yourself so it will be audible yeah. for audio and yeah. i'm sorry yes and you yeah. can also experience the culture throughout 360 degrees uh, suppose if you want to show your students the space shuttle now uh, there is a many of you in your school there will be astronomy clubs or you want to show any uh, orion or constellation or you want to show space shuttle So how the space shuttle works so there are 360 degree videos also available so whatever is the view we can experience the culture in entire 360 degree 
so i have shared right. the link so there are various videos available that is what you can say art from all the angles all the angles means you can entire 360 degree view is possible this is what you can use arts and culture to view the videos to 6360 degree so this is the video which ma'am has shared just now and even audience can also check this is the link so how any of the 360 video will look like that ma'am has given us so let's have a look on that area maybe we want to see a go inside a space shuttle in vr like virtual reality area or you want to see the how the entire things work as so you can click any 360 video and they will be going to load and we can check in that area so yes that's what we checked just now a uh, slightly before help so i uh, just move a little bit so that the audience can get a more idea so yes this is the area you can see how it look like the way it will look like so maybe you can check inside the shuttle area or how the shuttle look like from inside angle so everything is visible and every angle is given over there so kind of a 360 is very fascinating we can explain to all audience and as well as the like the students on the classroom area like how everything functions so you have plenty of these things which are a little in google art and culture and when we check on that area we can get to understand like how these all the things functions yeah so parima if you would like to add on physics aspect wise anything yes sir can you just click on explore so that we can show them how you can explore by color as well right right yeah. right so let me move so as you scroll down explore. yeah, yeah. Well, yes this is the explore yes ma'am so you can show them how you can explore by color as well yes right so we have here all the options like you can go through the explore by time and the color like we can click on the color you will be able to get lot of the details lot of the things which is available on color wise you can come across you can share those things with the other so share method you can see the classroom is there you can share in your classroom or if you want you can share in facebook or twitter on that area so it is a pretty good activity for the classroom for history subject or any of the area they can go through they can give a more idea so it's a very good area if you check there we have a button called play also so we can do lot of things with the help of this you can create a puzzle party also you can create a visual crossword also and art coloring book and these all the things so let's have a look a slightly bit of puzzle game so what we can do is we can click on any of the puzzle party as it shows like you can see here there are the methods you can attach any of the picture and the puzzle of things will be there you can share with the audience and or the persons they can start so let's have a look one of the puzzle how it can be look like we can select any of the one and have a look whether it can look like properly or not so let's check one of this i am just going to share this one as a multiplayer let's check how it look like so i'll going to tab ashish sir yeah yes please sorry to interrupt uh, yeah sir uh, please uh, click on the play and let let us show them uh, which are the various plays what they can play so just right. click on play and scroll down so they'll get an idea what are the different puzzles are available crosswords are available yeah right right now let me close it and yeah uh, it's next to explore so next explore yes. we have done we can explore the places by time by color and there are various options available so yes the Play next is here play so we are playing with yeah. arts and culture now what do you mean by playing with arts and culture the name itself tells us ki either a art or a museum or name of any articles or facts or any historic places we are going to play with the students so that we can make the session interacting especially for history classes so if they want to show museum they can play but again this play or it's in the form of puzzle party is there and second i guess it is crossword and who came first so there are various games available which we can play with the students and yes instead of uh, making the session uh, the rote learning we can give them in the form of a game so let us try to see what is available so yes sir we can go with puzzle party with the audience yes uh, right, we can right, just put the puzzles so what is available mm -hmm. in the puzzle so wait sir so here the moment yes uh, just one thing yeah. 
can you just go back so that let them let us show them how we can launch it yeah you can choose yes. any puzzle party there are various puzzles available so before going they will it will ask you uh, launch ex launch experiment so or you can launch it yeah and you can choose whichever puzzle party if you come on if you are continuously one hour if you are taking the lectures and in between you feel like come on let's play a puzzle game with the students so that the all the classes will get again engaged together so yes sir you can just share any one with the link uh, uh, with the okay. audience so that they just try it's uh, you can right. everyone can work on this puzzle yeah okay so let me share a very easy one which can be get yeah. it done from then, yeah just share one image which is easy so that yes. will be just yeah, share the link and share it with the audience. Yeah, you can do individual share also and multiplayer. Uh, share multiplayer so that entire audience. I have shared the multiplayer one. And, okay, uh, sir. Vishal said if you could just share with the audience. Yes, it's already shared with the audience. Yes, thank you, sir. So I believe now, as and when you will join with the link, it will take us a little bit time to load because loading is, you know, all the data will capture and it appear on your system so it will take a little time to load so i can see yes. right now we have five players that's really wonderful everyone is working on it i can see the six players seven players that's wonderful we can see 10 yeah. players it need a coordination right Rupali, man? yes and the thing is that if it is wrong puzzle it will not accept am i right sir if yes, puzzle right, is not, and it, is, it is a very engaging activity for yes. the class so if you are going for remote teaching learning then you know to engage to draw their attention towards one particular topic this can be very refreshing activity yes, yes. that is so absolutely have, correct sir yes so we can engage the students uh, by making this uh, playing this puzzle party so yes there are various options available under play i guess uh, we can use the puzzle uh, what you can say crosswords are also available uh, visual crosswords as you can scroll down so this is the first game which is puzzle party and yes, uh, for the lower classes students, if you are using, so there's an art coloring book. Uh, Ashish sir, is there, uh, can you just scroll the art yeah. coloring book? Yes, ma'am. Let it be, uh, get finished because the thing is, if I close it, the session will be over. Okay. So let our audience Fine. finish I'll, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll just share the link for the, so that Vishal, Vishal sir can share with the audience. Yes. So small children, they like to color many a times. So art coloring so you can give them and there are way in the palette session there will be various colors available so students can choose and they can color then and there itself so this is I'm what sure one more on because puzzles will take time to get solved yes sir yes yeah. yes yes, yes sir. the next uh, thing that Rupa Fine. Yeah. yeah sir we'll show them art coloring. The yes yes so uh, we uh, have a uh, lot of things in the puzzle area and well. and the continue. right yes. right sir so this is the area let us go to the home and let's see on the play we have a lot of things like we can go over there we have over there visual crossword also if we click on visual crossword we'll be able to get over here a lot of different things if you can check here it's loading it once we click on launch experiment this is going to show us the same way some of the thing so it is loading right now so just have a look and then you can select any sort of the thing like drag and drop image to the place then in the crossword area so we have to just drag and drop them and then we can create so it will take a slightly bit of time you can create how the way you want you can just give it all together and then you can give it level how the way is the level you require let's say play with the crossword using image like letters so we can create these all the sort of the things and then we can create if you click on back to game so you will be back on this area so you have to just give the, all the sort of the things and it will work certain area maybe the time it will take whichever the available things are there that only is possible so now let's move on to the next one where we can check what all the things are available next so i'll just you can check here it shows like remove wrong items so if we click over here, so it will remove the, all those wrong items. So we have to place it and then keep it. Right, Rupali ma'am? Yes, So yes, this yes, is, sir. yeah. So let us we'll, check certain more things, what we can have. Yeah. And then. We'll just show them art coloring, sir. 
can yes. you just scroll down so we part? have this is the art and coloring book area also if you play on if you click on the play there only if you just go to the art and coloring you will be able to get the, this one now let's say if you want to launch over there the experiment area you can launch the same format and these all the things will appear let's say suppose you want to select it any one of it click over there and pretty much the steps will remain the same only so yeah, yeah now we need to just do the coloring and part of it so it is all together how we want we can give it the details and that's how it can appear but yes it will take a time maybe uh, you can check how the original picture is then you can go ahead for rest all maybe the background you want you can apply the background what all the outlines you want those all outlines can appear so a lot of these things are there we can click on it and then it can start and then you have option called download you can download the entire work or if you want you can clear it and you can start once again from the scratch or maybe you can undo the part of it like you can see here we can press and they can get undo and you can design how the way you want what all the way you require it if you want to share you can share it even in the class they can do it work let us check the progress how much uh, everyone is able to finish okay they are still working on it so we have the 12 players so almost half his audience is able to finish but still they are working on it so never mind now let's see the same way what else we have and how we can do the rest of the things you can click on play button there you have all the sort of after the color book you have what come first you can click over here the same way we can do the these all things so basically it's a kind of an innovative way to teach in class right Rupali ma'am yes yes you can uh, store suppose if there is you feel that uh, at the last moment there is a lot of time with time consuming you can just click on that heart and it will directly go to your favorites yeah okay. the moment you will click That's so it will be Yes, yeah. it will be added to your favorites and before moving going to class, you can the previous day you can add whatever collections you can want you want and directly that will be available in favorites. So you can just show okay. them the favorite, okay. sir. Yeah. Okay. So, so just now yeah. you have added, so this... that will be available in the favorite sections. Right, right. I'll just show it now. It is a kind of area where it is giving us all together the kind of view and as well as this can give us a more introduction on that area. We can click, we can get a lot of new information. Now, as it shows a favorite thing, as I have added, so you can see these two things are added just like how ma'am told me to add on that area. Once we click on the heart, it will be get attached to this area. Now let's check and play what all the things we left behind. You have over here the cultural crossword. If you click, you'll be able to get a lot of these things. If you launch, it will be same way it will be going to launch. You can select the way you want if you want it art wise or around the world or science and technology. So you can select the way you want it. Let's say science and technology if we give. So you can click on that area and you can select the type of the way. Let's say suppose you want certain clues. So they all will prompt and you can do the part of it so you can type you can do the work so we can do a lot of things so now let us move ahead and check a certain more part what we have left behind and play area almost we check the puzzle party same way visual art and then the art coloring book area also and then the what comes first and same with the cultural area also so now these all the things are kind of what is available on library that only we can use it's still the functionality it is a day by day uh, kind of development once the development move ahead we can have a lot of new add-ons or maybe the new experiments can be get added so day by day google do a lot of new things so it is a kind of ongoing research right rupali ma'am if you would like yes. to just add anything more yes please. no sir that's it you have covered every points yeah Okay. yes sir yes. the interesting is play where we can play with puzzles we can play with crosswords you can choose science and technology sure. or whatever theme you want you can choose that yes sir and you can make the class interactive yes yeah. sir, that's so, it. i just yeah. like to give, give an example on from academic point of view uh you can just yes. go to the first screen of google art and culture say for example you want yes, to assign a, you want to give a topic of say one uh so of social science which is coming right so there, there is a uh, you know, once you open art and culture, there is a search option over there on the top. Uh, you just go to the yes, top sir. right search option. Just type in Taj yeah. Mahal there. Okay. Yes, sir. 
Now, suppose say, for example, if you're teaching your uh, grade seven or grade nine students something related to Taj Mahal, you can always make use of this particular application, and you can search everything on Taj Mahal. And not only yes. this, there's an okay. Just close this uh, alert. Now, you see, see, there's a share option. Yes, sir. yes, sir. the share yes. option. Yeah. yeah. You can see that icon of the Google Classroom over there. Yes, so, sir. Thing is. Now you can directly give this assignment in your Google Classroom that you have to explore to this particular link, and you have to search for this uh, topic from the link, and you have to prepare an assignment to prepare a write a report on this topic. So students will be able to directly search. Now, if you are using, if the students are using mobile phones, and Google Art and Culture is also another different application on mobile phone which is completely free. So. You, uh, students can download art and culture on their mobile phone. They can explore this particular link over to, with the help of the application, and then they can submit the assignment giving the link to the teacher from art and culture. So academically, also this is going to be very very useful. But since uh, what happens here is that we uh, we access uh, this kind of uh, uh, methods from only the mobile phone. We have you know uh, lesser utility as compared to that with the laptop or a desktop. So. It's not only uh, basically for fun and entertainment. It's it's basically for the purpose of education. So here you can okay. explore. So you, even if you search uh, places of Second World War, if you can just search on the search bar. Second World yes, War. Yes, sir. So we can write over here. Or uh, World War Two. Let's say World War Two. We have here World War. Yeah, so everything it will be there related to World War. So if any chapter is there, okay, it's something like this will be more creative than the pages of the textbook, right? So you you have a static text in the textbook, but here you will be having videos, you will be having animations, you will be even having puzzles from this particular activity. So you know, in order to make the students remember this particular topic, they have introduced different concepts within the same topic. So not only theory, but videos and concepts and puzzles and everything. So it it, it make, makes the topic very interesting for students and engaging. So this is all, all about art and culture, and you can directly integrate it to your Google Classroom. You can give assignments. And believe me, students will love these kind of assignments. Rather than if you just ask them to prepare a report on Taj Mahal, if you just say that go to Google Art and Culture on this particular link of Taj Mahal and then prepare a presentation on the artifacts of Taj Mahal, then they would be very happy to do this. So this is something which is going to be interesting for students as well as for the teacher. Yes, right, anything sir. which is left out, you can please uh, cover it up. Yes. Sir. yes. That's all about yeah. arts and culture, right, sir? Yes, sir. Right, Ashish, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, Google yeah. Art and Culture is a very good utility for the purpose of education. It makes the session engaging. And see, we can go on for five full days, one hour each or two hour each, for just explaining Google Art and Culture. So, it's a matter of exploration. Aaj apne dekha hai ki art and culture kya hai. I want you that you can just explore art and culture to what can be useful to you. If you are a social science teacher, it will be useful to you in a different manner. If you are a science teacher, it will be useful to you in a different manner. If you are an arts teacher, it will be useful to you in a different manner. So it will be suiting to different subjects in different manners. So it's worth exploring the tool. So very well explained, Ashish sir and Rupali ma'am. And I think now it's time to move on to the next topic, which is again connected with art and culture, and which is yes. Google Maps. Maps. So I would call upon our next mentor, Pal uh, ma'am. Welcome, Pail ma'am. Yeah, and the Pail ma'am and Ashish sir is, is going to continue with Google Maps. So we are going to be the backstage. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, ma'am, you can share your screen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Hello, everyone. I think we already see the amazing situation regarding the art and culture. Now we just move forward and uh, just go through the uh, another wonderful and amazing session on the Google Map. Uh, let me just present my screen. Google Map is a web mapping platform offered by the Google. 
Google Maps began as a C++ desktop program developed by the two brothers, that is Lars and Jan Rusman. And in 2004, uh, Google adopted it and converted it to, uh, into the web application. So right now we are using uh, Google Map that is a web application, but first of all, that is launched by the desktop application. So let's move forward. I just introduced myself. I am Payal Rachodia and I am a Google Certified Educator Level 1 as well as Level 2. We conduct the so many sessions. I think uh, you people are aware of me, right? In this session, uh, we just uh, talk about the using the map of com commuting to a destination, sharing the map with others, then using my maps and using maps for collaboration. So first of all, Google Map. We can say that a mapping and navigation application for the desktop and the mobile devices from the Google. And maps provide the turn by turn directions to the destination along with the 2D and 3D satellite views, as well as the public transit information. You can use a car, you can use a motorbike, you can use a cycles also, or walking also, fine. Map also offers the street view, which are the photos of the actual streets and surrounding. It looks like that we are physically uh, there, but it's not a, it's like a virtually. And Google Maps provides the layout of the roads, the location of the cities and town, the state boundaries, geographical features, restaurant reviews, satellite images, and, and many more. Google Map facilitates collaborative learning and helps the teacher extend and refine their lessons through the interactive medium that promote the critical decisions um, making. I think uh, uh, we can use a Google Map to showcase your offices. Uh, you can use a Google Map to charts and highlight the countries and adding your data. You can also use a Google Map to the uh, to uh, showcase your markets also and many more. There are lots of uses of the Google Map in in our routine life. But uh, I'm giving some example for educators, being the educators or being the uh, teachers, we can how we can use a Google Map. So these are the example of the Google Map. We can use a Google Map in a dandy match of the Gandhiji's, then uh, uh, Mumbai to Kutch road trip. Then uh, suppose I want to demonstrate the Ganga River uh, tributary map. Then suppose I want to explain the Ramayana one was route. So we can use this in our subjective areas also. Next, uh, another way uh, to use a uh, Google map in a classroom, that is uh, you can uh, find out the, some of the interesting games for the student. For example, I just listed or I just uh, uh, I just searched so many games regarding the Google map. That is the first one is the find location. In this game, teachers say a city and students have to pin the location on the Google map. This is how uh, the students can uh, just inform with the Google map. Then the second game is a scavenger hunt. This is a game where we, uh, where teacher give a students a list of the points via latitude and longitude. And they, uh, and they have to use the Google map to find what each point is, what the exact point is. So this is like the fun for the students, right? And the, another game is a measure distance. Suppose students draw the one line starting point and end, ending point, and they have to find the distance, okay? how, my, how this distance are. Then the next is uh, recreate the historical route. Suppose in our history, uh, there are so many historical routes. So we can recreate the historical route uh, students have to map the various battles in the wars and popular regions during the gold rolls and notable stops during the presidential tours and many more. Right? So this is how we can use a Google map. And I just come to my scale. Now, what, uh, how we can open a Google map? So first of all, uh, we have to just open a Chrome box and just write the maps.google.com. This is my Google map and it's a uh, uh, generally display the nearest area of my places. Okay. Uh, in here, uh, first of all, how you can add the destination or how you can add the, the multiple destination. For example, I just use the one example that is I want to, or uh, I want to share or I want to just, uh, uh, I want uh, some road trip to Mumbai to 
कच्छ सो आई जस्ट राइट डाउन फर्स्ट डेस्टिनेशन इज मुंबई एंड आई जस्ट एड द क्लिक ऑन द डिरेक्शन एंड आई जस्ट स्वेप इट नाउ वॉट वेर आई वॉन्ट टू गो फ्रॉम द मुंबई सो आई जस्ट राइट द कच that's really wonderful ma'am the way you are doing it it's fascinating yes. this ma'am okay this is the route of the uh, this is a road trip of the mumbai to raj i know this is a kind of the pandemic uh, uh, pandemic fever so anyone wants some kind of the trips or some kind of the road trip so this is a good way to enjoy the road trip and in your road trip you will find the various things for example uh, just click on the options which are listed here uh you can see the root options like the suppose you want to avoid the uh, you want to avoid the highways so you just click the uh, highways and the diff, uh, your map is changing slightly suppose you want to uh, avoid the tolls also so again your map will be changes slightly for example yeah in a uh, mumbai to rajkot uh, sorry mumbai to goa there is a rajkot and ra in a rajkot there is a toll so my map display uh, my map the display the route which avoid the tolls you can see here these are the different between the routes and i'm sure uh, ma'am this will help a lot to any yes, of the yes, person who will yes, yeah they yes, will plan they will get a lot of help yes ma'am go ahead okay yeah and uh, there are these are the tra uh, travel mode you can see the different different travel mode here suppose you choose a driving you can choose it suppose you choose a transit that is you can choose it suppose you choose a walking that is not possible but still i just click on that uh, suppose you can go by a walk then the route will be changed you can see that right and suppose you want a cycling that is again not possible and suppose you want to go for a flight so again there is a route that can display the uh, flight uh, mode okay that your map can be or your route can be changed so this is how you can use your uh, you can use your uh, route and one other another thing i just want to tell you that is a uh, in a suppose you are planning a road trip and you want to just uh, uh, you want to just find out the, what are the hotels what are the fresh rooms or many other things so you can also find out here from the here also and you can just scroll down here and you can you will find the uh, restaurants hotel gas stations parking lot and many more just click on that okay for example i just click on the hotels then in between in your route there is so many hotels come you can select any one you can book them and you can add a stop them for example i just select this and look at the my uh, destination route first of all i go to the mumbai then go to the uh, next hotel that is a tribo trip kalpana residency and then i go to the uh, kutch So this is how you can plan your route. You can use your route now in a education field or in a classroom. How this? How you can use this? So first of all, we can uh, sometimes we can plan for uh, we can plan a trip uh, for a students, right? So for that, uh, you can use a Google Map to uh, to display your route, to share your route to their uh, to your parents, and uh, you can print your routes also. Uh, for example uh, for that you just click on the menu that is a uh, right, uh, left hand side and you will see the share on embedded right so just click on the share on embedded you will find the uh, link of this route and you can share it via social media or email anything to your parents that how how you will go to this uh, how you will go to your uh, picnic and how you will go through the uh, route next is uh, you can also give a print out you can see here the print out option is here suppose you want to give a print out then there is a, a print out and there is my title that comes automatically that is a mumbai maharashtra to kutch gujarat and i just want to print it right now i don't have a print but suppose you want to save as a pdf then you can save as a pdf also so this is how we can use a uh, uh, google map in our education or in our classroom now uh, uh, 
as is sir can you just uh, explain the remaining portion that is uh, how you can uh, using uh, my map uh, we can elaborate the uh, maps yes ma'am correct thank you and you have already explained all the part of it but once again let me just share my screen and give a quick idea so as i am residing in gandhidham so i'm just showing it with the help of this area like this is the map of the gandhidham and then let's say suppose in this map only if i want a collaboration to be added or let's say suppose i want over here the other members also they can be part of the collaboration so what i can do is the same map i can share with the rest of the member and they can part of it they can share the work they can maybe i can collaborate the more number of people or more number of audience in that area only but for enabling this thing you have to click on enable link share so what will happen quickly we can share with the everyone now let's say public everyone on internet can find and access that means everyone on internet will be able to check and they will be able to get it so let me quickly give this access also also and now let's say i'll copy it find drive sharing i am not giving right now but at the same time when we assign this one let's say i'll put it on the chat and i'll send it what will happen anyone on this area uh, now uh, pile ma'am you can try to add one of the like location on my map let's see whether you are able to do it or not i have just shared the link yes sir you yes you can sir. check yeah you can try like you can click on three dot and there you can add one of your place even audience can also try they can go to the three dot and they can try to add maybe you have over here the options and you have option called add layer like you can add one more layer where a separate city or let's say the place you can import or you can call so suppose for example you want to put it over here bhuj map or something like that so click save on this and you can add the way you want so this is the area we can do lot of the things you can add even the way like let's say the direction you want to add so you can put first the direction area the point a someone other place and point b to some other place so let's say point a i put it nami nam over here fine so this is the city layer fine and now here on bhuj i am giving it this one so the point a to point b it will show the entire map so you can see quickly it showing the directional map and as well as the entire thing what exactly ma'am has shown the same way so this is you can see right now all the things can be imported and as well as it can be worked now let me share the drive link and let's see whether it is working or not so drive sharing let me get the drive share right and then let's see whether it works properly or not so i am right now adding pile ma'am to you and let's see whether you get access or not in this area i'm just giving you edit access fine and let's check now you can try to add let's see you are right with the edit access just give it try yes ma'am you can try and just check whether you can able to add certain things in the my map itself yes ma'am a little bit it's a very simple way like we can click on add layer and then you can add the sort of the way you want like for example uh, as i have shared the rights with everyone so they all can try like it is a slightly tricky part but only the way is like you want collaborators to be work on that area so you have to share the rights and once you share the rights all those member who have edit access right they can quickly come over there and they can add the their all sort of the work so suppose for example let's say suppose in this area i have added just now a driving location from uh, gandhidham to bhuj same way let's say one location i have added which is a kind of let's say one area which is a kind of directional map to gandhidham to rajkot so let's see we are giving over here draw a line or kind of add direction we click over here and you can see it's keep on saving its work so you can write over here the point a to point b let's say right now i'm just giving it rajkot first and then i give it let's say i want rajkot bus stand or railway station from there to gandhidham so you can see each area whichever the direction map you want we can select and then it can show us the entire map so now you can see it is working in same manner but in a different way format 
right now the point A is Rajkot and point B is Gandhinam over here. So this is going to work in a fabulous manner. We can share with even the audience or you can share with your friends. Let's say the five member all together, they are traveling in a car. You want to check with your friends that how far they are travel or how far exactly the way they are moving ahead. So you can add the way you want. And we can add layers, multiple layers. We can do a lot of things over there. You can click on add layer. You can write over there. Even you can click on measure distance also. So this measure distance is going to, you know, like point A to point B. You can click and you can see it's measuring the entire difference. If you want to check over here, this to this, so you can see able all the distance is visible. But one drawback is there this distance thing is going to work only on Google My Map. It will not work on direct map or anywhere else. So I believe that's what the pretty much what you require for this area. If you want a share links or if you want any of the links that you can provide from this area, you can export it even as KML format that is a format for Google Earth. You can check the same way on Google Earth. You can embed even on Google Calendar or maybe on Google site or any of the area wherever you want. Open a map if you will do it. It will simply going to open on one of the map area and then it will be going to work. So it is all together an area where you can do a lot of work. You can scroll a slightly zoom more area. So it will be going to locate, it will be going to show all those locations. If you want to add over there multiple layers, you can add those all the layers and you can do plenty of this. So that's what the entire thing is. I'm now going to stop the screen share. If audience is going to have any questions or doubt, they can come ahead. They can ask the questions. So it is a my map already ma'am explained very well manner all the details like we can do a lot of things we can share with our friends we can do a lot of work right ma'am yes sir i just want to add you that map is a so 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 far for learning and uh, right now in our day-to-day -day routine life we can use a map lots a uh, lot right you know for example for a pizza delivery or for a online uh, shopping tra uh, shopping tracking so the uh, map is very useful for us uh, and it's also useful while we are going on to the unknown places, right, sir? Yes, ma'am, correct. So I hope we are over here to solve all our audience doubt. So over and, to you, uh, Vishal, Map sir. is also useful yes. in the education field. For, for example, uh, you are taking uh, uh, English subjects and uh, in your lesson, the author is traveled uh, some places then you can uh, just uh, click uh, you can just display the how the author will travel and uh, right, in right. environment also you can uh, use a different different places you can find the museum so i think for a teacher or for an educator map is very uh, very useful to uh, just uh, to just uh, for a students or to make your classroom interactive right sir correct correct ma'am very well explained, Ashish sir and Fal ma'am. And uh, there cannot be any better explanation than this. You have covered up the topics. You have just shown the demonstrations and the my maps explanation demonstration is brilliant. There is one single question that I find it's from Amit sir that the, can we search uh, in map using latitude and longitude with the help of a location? Can we search it on the map? Yes, I believe yes, it yes, can sir. get it done. But I have, uh, frankly speaking, sir, I have not tested it. But yes, it can be get it done. We can check even. Let me share my screen and show it on my screen area. It is visible on the screen that latitude and longitude is over there. But if you just check that this is the area, like we can see at the top, this is the area it is visible promptly. You can see the all the latitude and longitude is actually over here. So this is the way you can write the things and they can appear automatically. But yes, certain area we have to edit and they can appear. Right, Vishal, sir? Yes. So it's possible. It's only thing that you have to just explore a little more into maps. Just like as we right. discussed in arts and culture, uh, maps is something you can explore. Uh, one of the important utility of maps, you can say that suppose say you are organizing a bike -thon or a cyclothon, then what you can do is you can just give a route to the students and you can just share that route to the emails. And you can ask that you are complete So 
so they can start from different locations and they can meet at one particular location covering up the distance that they need to cover to qualify the cyclothon so there are plenty of utilities for this so marathon cyclothons nowadays whatever organizations you know this happens they make use of this tool so yes, sir, ab, ab, yes. marathon bhi agar organize hota hai to mobile phone yahan pe isko tag karke badge mein dal ke then they go uh, the best utility of this maps is treasure hunt you know clubs rotary clubs or these clubs give treasure hunts on particular days and they make use of maps to give treasure hunts to their uh, members so this has got seamless utility if you talk about education you can say if you are taking a student to tour okay you can directly save the tour map share it with the parents and say that we will be going to this location at this particular places so parents need not we not worry parents will be aware that if suppose tomorrow morning 6 o'clock the children will be at this location then evening 5 o'clock the children will be at this location so maps will give you a complete idea of the route of the destinations of the rest points everything so and again the best part is you can easily share it with email you can easily share it on the phone directly you can share the link on whatsapp whatever way and they can easily access it so map is a very good utility uh, with academics as well right so i think that is uh, for all of, uh, for this particular session and any doubts you may have you can just post it in the chat i'll be just taking up rupali ma'am as well onto the screen so around from 23rd of august till 8th of september we have been working with google tools training with, with little break in between but we covered up 11 interesting points in google tools training that can be useful to you for appearing for level 1 and level 2 examinations even if you don't wish to give examinations then also as a teacher and as an educator how you can use these tools in the class we have made uh, you know those kind of demonstrations to you the mentors have worked very well they have justified the topics that they were assigned to them not only the topics they have justified the pedagogy itself using this uh, streaming system they have explained that how you can use the same method to explain your students so i think the sessions went very well we have received some very good feedbacks from the audience and uh, we are very happy that uh, we have loved this particular training all these videos will be available on the youtube channel of gg amnabad you can always refer back those things you can always refer those contents back and you can if you are planning for appearing for level 1 and level 2 examinations please go through these videos once this is going to be a very good exercise for you before appearing for your examination so uh, uh, that's all for today yes uh, feedback link is you are waiting for i'm just be sharing the feedback link for today's session just a moment so here i have i'm sharing this feedback link for today's session share now to give your uh, genuine feedbacks give, give your sincere feedback so that we can improve and next round we can take it up in a very more and better manner or in an enriched manner uh, we are again planning to conduct a such sessions in the regional language that's gujarati Uh, we shall be sharing with you how and when this uh, this session will be conducted so thank you one and all for joining us for today's session and for the entire google tools training and thank you ashish sir uh, pal ma'am rupali ma'am for thank sharing you, your time and expertise with us thank you sir your audience is yeah. fitted with this session anything you would like to yes, say sir. further no sir that's it thanks sir. for giving us the opportunity so such a wonderful yeah. journey enjoy a lot yes, learning a lot <laughs> it was really yeah, wonderful journey of, uh, sharing and connecting with uh, gg angabad and as well as for all the boot camps in india so it was really same pleasing same working same. with all yes and and we will be continuing taking people to many more such destinations for different journeys and different schedules so we are planning some yeah. more share training schedules later and we shall be sharing with all So thank you one and all for joining today's session. We are just starting the session right now. Okay then. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.